although these are sort of functional, you could pop them open for some ventilation, uh, they don't actually or actively draw out any air. So we're going to delete these and then there will be solar panels over here. I'll show you up top how we're going to cap and seal this off. First step is to remove the interior trim. Once you remove all the trim screws, then this just pulls down. And the rest will do from the top. Beautiful day. I took one hatch off yesterday evening and the screws are out of this one. So I'm ready to pry that up. It's kind of stuck in place, but it's a little slick right now. Got to wait a little bit so I don't slide off the edge. Here is a good example of why I don't, and I don't think you should ever use silicone as a sealant because it will come off. And if you can see that's shiny there, I mean, it just peeled right off. It didn't stick to the surface very well. So if that bond loosens, it's no longer sticky. This stuff, this butyl tape or a polyurethane still is sticky so it's got a fighting chance of retaining a bond in all the movement in the bus but the silicone can peel up and just come come away it's not a great example there but in other places like here just came up show you the shiny part just to show you that it's not really stuck very well so silicone is not the ideal, not the ideal solution for hatches and stuff. This is a Clico, basically a temporary rivet. So now I can drill all the holes. If I put down the 3M5200, the adhesive sealant, and then drill the holes, I'm drilling through all that adhesive and it's a mess. So start in the middle, work your way out. All right, now that all the Clicos are in place and this is all drilled, I can pull these out and know that when I put the rivets in with the adhesive sealant, I use 3M5200. It's a permanent marine grade sealant. Uh, people have joked, boat owners joke that, or they call it uh, screw the next guy or something like that because whoever owns your boat afterwards, if they wanna take off something you put on with the 3M5200, it's a bear to come off, it's a booger.
uh, sticks really well. It's an adhesive and a sealant. It's a polyurethane-based moisture curing, so about as permanent as you can get. So this is 3M5200, permanent, permanente. Uh, yeah, it's, it cures in seven days. It's designed, you can use it on through hole fittings, so below water, uh, pretty amazing stuff. The tubes are not cheap. Not your typical caulking tube. So you peel the bottom out. Normally on a caulking gun, you can use this little metal rod here to pierce the foil, but this is thicker than your typical cock tube. Whenever I break off a screwdriver, I turn it into something useful. I go all the way around the outside of the rivets, and that's the waterproof seal. And for strength, basically. Bond. Do an inner one. The roof is sealed. It is a gorgeous day out here on the prairie. 
safe travels. Enjoy the adventures. Thanks for watching.